Well, what you say, ladies and gents, it is your boy, Bukat Sam, and we are back again today for another video. Today's video is my championship game week nine predictions. I have never tried to predict the championship scores because it's just absolutely crazy league. It is one of my favourite leagues and probably one of the best standards of football in the world. The football is insane. The competition is just unrivaled. Every team can beat every team and that's why we're doing this video today. So let's get right into it. Roll that intro. Our first game of the game week is where Coventry hosts Peterborough. And this is a really interesting game because Mark Robbins' men have started off so well this season, sat in fourth place, unbeaten in their last three games. But they're coming against a Peterborough side. Yes, you are 21st in the league, but they've just come off the back of a huge 3-0 win against high-flying Birmingham City. This will be a really interesting game to watch because we know what Peterborough are going to do. They're going to sit behind the ball and get that ball to Clark Harris up top. Whereas commentary, you know what Mark Robbins' men are going to do. They're going to play some really nice progressive play. And this is going to be a really interesting game. I think this is a really tough one to call. This will be the first time Coventry have won their first five home games of a season in the second tier of football since 1973. And, as well, this will be the first time Peterborough, if they lose this game, the first time they've lost their five opening away games since 1993. So, what does that say? Coventry are going to win this game. And they're going to get that, that, that stat that they want, and Peterborough are going to get that stat that they don't want. I think this will be a really good game. I'm going to go for a 2-1 Coventry home win. Now, onto the next Friday night game, 8 o'clock kickoff, which is on Sky Sports. I will be at this game in the West Bromwich Albion end. It's going to be a very interesting one because West Brom have got off to a pretty good start. They're sat in third place, but they've had the last three games. They've come up against Millwall, Preston and Derby and have drawn all three, not scoring very many goals. But the thing is, they like to play against teams that play progressive style of play because that high press that Ismail plays... It just works against teams that want to keep the ball and want to play. And those last three don't. But they come against Mark Warburton's men, who have got off to an absolute flying start, sat in eighth place. But yes, they've lost their last two games, but off the back of a huge win against Everton in the Cup. But they play progressive style of football, which will probably lead quite nicely into West Brom's hands, because that's what they want. They want to high press and win the ball back in the final third. And QPR... That's what they're going to do. They're going to pass it around the back. That's what Mark Warburton's men do. So I'm going to go for a 3-1 West Brom home win. Now on to our next game where Reading hosts Middlesbrough. This is a really tight one to call. 13th versus 15th place. Both sides pretty average starts but Reading coming into this game as the form side. Winning the last two games and it's all down to John Swift. What a player. And that him and Ajaria are two absolute ballers. But coming against Neil Warnock's men who just churn out results. Yes, their form has dipped a bit, losing two of the last three games. But I think they're going to come back here. I think it's going to be a really tight one to call. So I'm going to go for a 2-2 draw. Now to Swansea versus Huddersfield. Swansea sat in 20th place with three draws on the bounce. It's still not good enough, is it, really? They've got a good side, and they should really be at least mid-table. Coming against the Huddersfield side, who have got off to an absolutely flying start. Yes, they've lost two of the last three games, but they're sat in seventh place this season. And they're playing some really nice, progressive, expansive football. And I think they're going to get a win here. I think it is going to be a 1-0 away win to Huddersfield. Off to Blackpool now, where Blackpool host Barnsley. 18th versus 19th, separated by two goals on the old goal difference. Barnsley now have got five draws, two losses and one win this season. They've got too many draws. They need to turn some of those draws into wins. That's their problem this season. They just, but they just don't seem to have that conviction where I watch them and think, do you know what? They are going to win this game. As soon as you see them concede, you just think, that's it. They're not going to get another one back. It's They're going to draw or they're going to lose. Whereas they're coming up against a Blackpool side who are probably the most inconsistent side this season. They play so well like we saw against Fulham and we saw against Middlesbrough. But then they lose 3-0 to Huddersfield. It's just so up and down for Neil Critchley's men. But I think they're going to get a win here. I'm going to go for a 2-0 home Blackpool win. Stoke City now, who are sat in 5th place against 22nd Hull. Hull have only got one win this season, and Stoke are going into this game flying with form. Yes, obviously they had a little bit of a blip last week where they played Derby, but I think that was just purely because the Derby players just kind of really rolled together, made that, that proper hard-knit group after all the trouble that's going on with the club behind the scenes. But anyway, we're talking about Stoke here. Stoke have been playing some really nice football this season. And very progressive. That's why they got four wins and two draws and only lost two games. And I think they're going to win again here. I do think they're going to dominate the Tigers. I'm going to go for a 2-0 home Stoke win. 
First, the 12th now at the Vitality Stadium where Bournemouth take on Luton. Luton have had a very good season this year. Drawing, though, the last four games. They want to turn some of these late draws. Yes, they're obviously scoring late on to get a draw, but they need to turn some of these draws into wins, especially after last week when they went in 3-0 up against Swansea. But Bournemouth this season, not really much to say other than Scott Parker, master plan. Really, five wins and three draws, still unbeaten, playing lovely football, 14 goals scored, and they've only conceded six. Six goals conceded, but I do think they're going to concede here, but I think they're going to dominate. I'm going to go for a 2-1 Bournemouth home win. To our next game now, where Nottingham Forest host Millwall. Millwall sat in 17th place with three draws on the balance, whereas Forest are 23rd in the league. And yes, they did get a win last week. Stephen Reid, caretaker manager, absolutely brilliant performance. What a result that was for them. But they're coming up against the Millwall side. Which is really difficult to play against. Gary Rowett's men, you know what they're going to do. But it is Steve Cooper's first game. So usually when the new manager comes in, you have that new manager syndrome. And I'm expecting that to happen here. I'm going to go for a 3-1 Nottingham Forest home win. Sheffield United versus Derby. Yes, Derby have been hit with that point seduction. They're sat rock bottom of the league on minus two points. And it is it is a shame because they've been playing some nice football. They've actually been growing out results that no one really expected them to do. And especially last week. And one thing that could happen from all of this, this could bring the side really together. And if they're resilient and determined, we could see the same as last week and they could get a win. But they're coming up against a Sheffield United side, which unbeaten in the last four games. Since those new signings have come in, they're really looking strong. Especially Morgan Gibbs-White. Very, 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 very good player. And Hurahan. So I think Sheffield United are going to win here. I'm going to go for a 2-0 home Sheffield United win. Sixth versus 10th now Blackburn Rovers host Cardiff City and Cardiff have actually had an alright start but they has form, their form has dipped Sorry, in their last two games losing both of them whereas Blackburn are unbeaten in the last four games. Yes it's three draws but they're not losing and I think this will be a draw here and you know one of the Cardiff defenders are going to score let's be honest. Mick McCarthy's men resilient, determined, strong side and they're going to come back and they're not going to lose three on the bounce because you won't see that from the McCarthy side. So I'm going to go for 1-1. Now we're ninth place Bristol City host second place Fulham and you know what happens at Ashton Gate. They're still winless now in the last 14 home games. I was at the Bristol City versus Luton game and the problem is you can hear the crowd they get nervous. They score, they go up, they're in the lead at home and you can just hear them groaning knowing that they're going to concede and knowing that they're not going to win because in the last 14 home games they've only scored six goals. Six goals and conceded 22. So you know what's going to happen here. Fulham, a flying form. Yes, they've just had a, a, a pretty odd loss against Reading, but I think they're going to bounce back. You know what Marco Silva's going to be like. He's going to get right onto those players and they're going to get a big win here. I'm going to go for a 4-0 away win to Fulham. Now to Birmingham City, to St Andrews, where 11th place Birmingham hosts 16th place Preston. Birmingham going into this game... Pretty out of form, especially with Gary Gardner out the side with his red card ban against Peterborough. They lost 3-0 and they sides now are starting to realise what you need to do. To keep Birmingham quiet, you keep Chon quiet. He is the attacking player. He creates everything. If you keep him quiet, like Peterborough did where they double marked him, Birmingham don't have another creative spark in their side personally. That's what I took from that game. Whereas Preston now are on the back of... Unbeaten in the last five games. Yes, it's three draws, but they're drawn against some good sides. Playing some good football and grinding out results here. And I think they might just nick a draw here. A little sneaky draw. I'm going to go 2-2. Two -two. An absolutely huge thank you for watching, guys. Please like, comment and subscribe. Yeah, just comment your predictions below. This is my first championship predictions video. I'm going to try and keep them up. Hopefully you enjoy them. Let me know if you've enjoyed it. But you know what it is on this channel. We do all football leagues, all content. We cover everything. So... For that, go on, as I've just said, smash that like button. It takes two seconds. It really, really helps. Please do. But yeah, thank you for watching, guys. Bug out, Sam. Over and out. Thank you. Goodbye. Pshh.